Hello, today I want to talk to you about creating an intentional morning, and I like to refer to that as a morning routine. Now, when you hear the word routine, you may be kind of thinking, um, I don't know, I'm not so sure about that, because I think for some moms, at least when I have talked to them, and some of you have emailed me about different things, and the problem that you have with routines is, number one, maybe you tried finding one on Pinterest or on someone's blog, and you tried to make that your own routine, and it just didn't work. And the problem with that is you were taking someone else's life. I mean, they have a completely different life than you. They may have different amount of kids. They may live in a different area. Their husband might have a different schedule. And you tried to put their routine into your life and it just doesn't work that way. Routines are specific to you and your family and your circumstances and your goals, your life goals. So I want you, if you have tried other people's routines in the past, I want you to kind of give up that notion that you have to do, you know, what someone else does. The um, second thing that I've heard from moms is that routines are just rigid and um, it makes it so that I can't live life because I'm always following this schedule or this routine. And you know what, if that is how routines are being used, then they're being used the wrong way. Because routines are not supposed to make your life more difficult or more um, you know, stressful. They should give you more freedom and um, because what routines do is they put certain things on autopilot like self-care and cleaning your home and um, you know just well yeah self-care so that would be like taking care of yourself in your your physical self and your mind as well um, they put all of those things on autopilot in a way they just they're automated so that you make sure that they get done and then you have all this other free time where you're not having to worry about, well, did I get the laundry done? Did I do the dishes? Um, I haven't exercised in you know, a month. And then it's always weighing on you and, and it's a burden. But if you are intentional about putting those things into a routine, then you have so much more freedom and so much more free time to do the things that you wanna do. So anyways, that was kind of a big, long introduction, but I hope that I've kind of convinced you that routines and being intentional with your time is important. So anyways, my name is Emily Wilson. I run the blog queenofthehousehold.com and my business is really just to help moms um, simplify their homemaking, simplify their lives so that they can enjoy being home without constantly wondering, you know, what else do I need to be doing or thinking about, oh, there's a pile of laundry somewhere, but they can just enjoy being home with their families. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. If you are saying, okay, yes, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna get intentional about my mornings, then this is the first thing that you need to do, and that is you need to think about what is the time that you need to be done with your routine in the mornings. Like you're ready to move on with your day. You've accomplished what you need to, and now it's time to move on. So if you work outside the home, or if your kids go to school, um, then whatever time you get out the door or are supposed to be out the door, that's the time that your morning routine is going to end. Now, if you're a stay-at-home mom or you homeschool, that might look a little differently. So specifically for me, my time is nine o'clock. By nine o'clock, I wanna be um, able to say, I've accomplished what I need to in the morning, and now if I wanna make an appointment, or if I wanna meet a friend, or, or we need to run errands, I can be out the door at nine o'clock. So, find the time that is the time that you need to be done. And then you're gonna work your way backwards and you're gonna fill in with all of the things that you need to get done. So um, make a list of the things that you need to do. Obviously, your kids need to be dressed and ready. They need to be fed. Um, and you know, a lot of times we just focus on that, but you need to also think about yourself. What do you need to get done? You need to get dressed and ready every day. You need to be fed and have some breakfast. And I sometimes we forget about what um, what we need to do, and if we're not intentional, then we end up not eating breakfast, or we end up um, not even taking a shower, and that's not a good thing. That's not something that um, we want to make a habit of our lives. We want to make a habit instead of taking care of ourselves as well. So work back and think about how long is it going to take me to feed the kids. Well, if it's going to take you know 20 minutes to feed them and you wanna be out the door at nine o'clock. Okay, so then that's 8.40, but add in a little padding because you always know that you know something's going to happen. So let's um, bump that back even more and let's say 8.35. 
and then um, you need to be able to get them dressed and get them ready for the school day. Brush teeth, um, comb hair, all of those things. Put on shoes, get their backpacks, get out the door. So maybe that's gonna take 20 minutes. So then back that up, so that's 8.15. Again, give yourself some more leeway, so let's make it 8.10. Um, then let's say, so those are the things with your kids. So you need to make sure that they are up by 8.10, maybe eight o'clock would even be better. <laughs> to say, just say eight o'clock is when my kids need to be up, okay? Well, and then you need to think about what is it that you want to do in the mornings and then add in that time as well and work your way backwards. And then, like I said, give yourself some extra cushion time. So um, I also want to um, say here that, oh, okay, about the extra time because someone's going to lose a shoe, someone's going to have a meltdown, you know, a glass is going to break on the floor and you're going to have to clean it up. You know, something's going to happen. So instead of being like, having that like derail you and make you rush and then everybody's on edge put in that cushion time so that you can expect it and just be ready for it okay and so then the next thing I want to talk about is to start simple a lot of times we think of morning routines and we think okay well I'm gonna get up two hours before my kids and I'm going to exercise and then I'm going to journal and I'm going to read my Bible and I'm gonna pray and then I'm gonna clean the bathrooms oh and then I'm gonna shower you know and we just make it like crazy when we haven't even been getting up before our kids before that so make it simple maybe it's just 20 minutes before your kids wake up you're gonna jump into the shower and get some makeup on and your hair done um, or maybe it's you know 30 minutes before your kids and you're gonna try and have some devotions and read your Bible before your kids wake up whatever it might be but just start simple and be realistic don't try to make it overwhelming and like try to do way too much okay so then the um, next thing that I want to say is um, you're gonna add more as this becomes a habit. So at first it's gonna be a new way of doing things and so it might be kind of difficult and you might be kind of like, okay, I'm gonna get used to getting up, you know, 15 minutes before my kids. And then maybe as time goes on and um, your seasons of life change, you might add in other things. So um, for example, I used to exercise before my kids got up. I don't do that anymore because I found that I was, um, I, w I didn't want to do it. I would just kind of like put my put it off and then I would just want to sleep in. And so I realized that it's better for me to just do some exercising later on in the day when my kids are playing or sometimes I'll just put them in the stroller and we'll go for a walk and that's my exercise time. Sometimes we'll just run in the backyard and we'll play tag or red light, green light. And I count that as some um, just exercise time because I'm my heart's beating and, <laughs> and I'm getting in some um, good movement. So yeah so just be willing to change it up if it needs to be changed okay and so then my last tip is to simplify um you know i said you know maybe you only need 20 minutes to get in the shower and get your makeup on and you know when you, before you were a mom maybe it took you like an hour to get ready in the morning and i totally get that because that's how i was but then i learned that i really only need just a few things on my face to look good and to feel good and so it only takes me like three to five minutes to put on my makeup um, i learned for my hair that i can wash it every other day or every three days and use dry shampoo in between that time and um, do something you know like i have today i just put it up in a messy bun um, maybe i'm going to curl it and um, tease it and you know put the sides up so that I don't have to spend, you know, a ton of time blow drying my hair and then styling it and all of that. Another way to simplify is to do things the night before um, so that you can set yourself up for success the next day and so that you don't have to do as much in the morning. So, okay, these are some easy things like making lunches the night before, setting out clothes and shoes the night before. But you could also do things like making sure the backpacks are ready to go, making sure all their books are in their bags. Um, you could make sure that you have things ready for breakfast, like plan it out beforehand. Don't just like wake up and be like, okay, what are we gonna have? No, maybe have the cereal boxes on the kitchen counter and the cereal bowl so your kids can come in and get it themselves if they're old enough. Now I do have a workbook, I just updated it. It's called the Balanced Mom Workbook and it's totally free. And I have it available through my email. When you sign up for my email, you can get it, um, I'll, you can download it right away. And there is a section on there about, all about how to create a morning routine and then also how to create an evening routine, which I'm gonna talk about in the next video coming up. So um, 
If you have questions about creating an evening routine or um, anything about routines actually, and just being intentional with your time, let me know, email me, say, say it in the comments below, whatever, I want to answer your questions. So I did send out um, an email to all of my subscribers asking them if they had any questions about creating a morning routine. And I did get one from Mel. And so I wanna read her question and then I'm going to answer that question. So she says, I have heard so many times, get up before your kids to get ahead of the day. But how do you accomplish this when your little one wakes up at 6 or 6.30 a.m. and still doesn't sleep through the night? And at night, how do you overcome the overwhelming need to just lay there or have me time to accomplish leaving a clean kitchen and organized home each night? So, and this is from Mel, and I just, I totally get it, Mel. And I want you to go ahead and just give yourself permission to not get up before your kids. And especially if you have a baby and you're listening to this right now, block out anyone who has ever said to get up before your kids. Now, I will tell you that I get up before my kids because it is it just makes the world a happier place when I get up before them. But when my, um, well, when my firstborn was a baby, I didn't, and that's kind of, part of my story because my life was chaotic at that time and then I learned to um, make routines and get intentional with my time. And so by the time I had my second born, um, I was following routines, but I did not wake up before my kids. Um, I had a three-year-old and then a newborn at the time and I would sleep until they woke up because I wasn't getting a complete night's sleep you know i was being woken up many times and so are you and so there's your sleep is so much more important than anyone who tells you to get up before your kids so please know that you can still be intentional with your mornings if you wake up after your kids and you know what and maybe you're listening to this and you're thinking i don't have a baby but i still don't want to wake up before my kids that's okay you can still be intentional. Um, and so you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna think about what is the time that you need to get out the door and then all the things that you need to accomplish and just work your way backwards. And that's what you're, you're gonna do for your morning. You're gonna just be intentional about it and plan for your morning. And instead of just letting your morning happen and you running around like a crazy person or anything like that, you are saying, this is what I'm gonna do with my day. Okay, so, um, yeah, so so same so same tips. Just be intentional and say, okay, you know what? I can't get a shower and dressed before my kids um, wake up because I'm gonna wake up after them. So maybe they play in their rooms for 20 minutes while you get dressed. Um, maybe you take a shower the night before. You know, just when when I was going through that, my three year old, I would have set him up in his room. He would have Legos or play with his cars at that time. He was into all of that. And so I said, okay, this is your time to play by yourself in your room. And then my baby at the time, she would either be ready for a nap at that point, or I would just put her in her crib with her mobile that was would go around or have some music playing with, um, she had like a projector that went up on the ceiling and I would just turn that on and she would be fine with that. So just get creative. And I mean, kids don't have to constantly be entertained. You can just kind of, you can put them in their cribs with some toys or in their rooms if they're younger and just say, okay, here's some books that you you can read while I go and do this. So just um, think about um, ways that you can still be intentional with your morning even though you're not getting up before your kids. Okay, and then the second part of her question was, how do you overcome the overwhelming need to just lay there or have me time to accomplish leaving a clean kitchen and organized home each night? And so this is kind of a loaded question because I feel like it all goes back to um, being intentional with your routines. And when you have a baby, you're gonna to go to your must-do items. You're not gonna worry necessarily about having organized closets and um, clean baseboards and things like that. You're gonna focus on the dishes and the laundry. And um, you're gonna focus on taking care of your baby and getting the rest that you need. So um, for my, when my second born was born was a baby, I would make sure that I rested. When she took naps in the afternoons, that was time for me to rest. And sometimes I would lay down even and take a nap. Um, I also made sure that I went to bed um, 
after her, I, I would feed her and then I would go to bed. So like I would have a late night feeding. Like she would she would be fed, this is kind of confusing, she would be fed like around seven and then um, I would feed her, I, I would wake her and put her to bed and then I would do one late night feeding at 10 and that's when I went to bed. And then there was usually kind of a stretch there where she would sleep a little longer before I had to feed her instead of like feeding her at um, eight and then me going to bed at like nine and then only getting two hours of sleep and um, feeding her again. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense, but I followed the book um, Baby Wise, which I know not everyone agrees with that book, um, but there are so many different routines, baby routines that you can follow. Um, Moms on Call, I think is one of them. And just get yourself on a routine with your baby and feeding schedule. And that's gonna help you accomplish, like I said, those little things like laundry and dishes, and then also getting the rest that you need so that you have time to take care of yourself as well. So anyways, I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. I know it's been long, but I feel like um, I just wanted to give you as much information as I could and just make it super practical. So if you enjoyed it, of course, I'd love for you to give it a like. I'd love for you to share it with other moms because Hey, we are all in this together. So let's root for each other and let's help each other out. Um, also, if you have questions about evening routines or anything, any kind of routine questions, um, let me know, leave it in the comments here. Email me, emily at queenofthehousehold.com and I will make sure that I include your questions in the upcoming videos. Thanks so much.